Well, it's that simple for the second set. So we're just going to repeat the process. Your choice. Watch it happen or skip ahead. I'm just checking down here again to see that all of the switch bodies look well seated on the circuit board. A couple of them just needed an extra push. And then again, picking up the alignment guide. The other thing to do is to take a siding down the switches and make sure the second set is in good line with the first. Well. There goes an elastic band to see if I can find another one. Let's go find another elastic band. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> Except that one broke too. And again, just taking the time to make sure you're happy with all the alignment before starting soldering. And even then the added precaution of just soldering up the middle row giving yourself the chance to make any adjustments before you're fully committed.
just check again that you've got enough solder on all these solder points. Add a little if you need to. Looking good so far. Now we're in just, just into the last set, the momentary toggles. Pretty much the same process. The only switch that won't be supported by the alignment guide is the power switch. So I'll put that in last. Again, just looking to see how the switch bodies are relative to the PCB. Now, if you've ever seen a real IMSA, you'll know that this is not an exact thing. Uh, you can make the switches look aligned, but they will always find little rest positions where they seem not to be. Now what's happened here is that some of these plates have popped out underneath the acrylic and are causing the switches to lean. So uh, this becomes a little bit of a game of just putting a little bit of pressure to get them to pop back into their gap so they're not causing any sort of unnatural deflection. Now obviously this row of switches doesn't align up with doesn't line up with the others because these are centered switches. Might have been a good idea for me to remove the uh, ESP32 module before 
getting on with these tasks, but probably like you at this stage, I'm feeling a little impatient for the end. Now just be really confident with the tension you're putting on this elastic band that it's letting these switches sit at a good natural centered position. And just like with the others, soldering in that center row first. Checking twice before we're fully committed. Whoop. Okay, we're done with that. And as you can see, you know, there is always going to be a little bit of play. These will always seem to sit out of alignment, but you know that you lined them up. You can see the height of those metal plates and you know that they're pretty balanced. Uh, it's just that there is a little bit of mechanical play in these switches and they will sit where they want to. So finally, the power switch. This one's just by judgment. Because it sits lower down like this, it's not gonna to be too obvious. And I think the black acrylic does a pretty good job at locating it. Still won't miss the opportunity just to double check. And there we go. And at this point, before rushing off and installing all the rest of the acrylic, uh, which is only decorative, you know, there's nothing functional uh, left to install now, um, I think we should spend some time doing some testing. So I'll see you in the next video.